Hey friends, it's Emily from burlapkitchen.com and today we're going to make a cute little plant. Um, I'm not really sure what you want to call it. A little maybe plant. I want to say fairy garden, but it's not really a fairy garden. I don't know. What do you call these? Let me know in the comments what you would call this. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to paint this little house here that I got from Target at the dollar spot. We're going to paint it white using white chalk paint. Take the little inserts out and paint it. Makes it much easier. Just make sure you don't get a bunch of paint uh, clumped up where they go in and out or they won't fit right. So I'm just going to finish up painting this house. Make sure the sides are painted. And then I'm going to slide these little um, slots back into place just like that. And I'm just going to do a little touch up work with the sander or sander with my little sanding block. And now I'm going to take some stain and some jumbo popsicle sticks and I am just going to stain these. I'm actually, my stain was practically gone. So I had to make it work. I actually ran out and didn't have enough for the, the back end, but it was fine. You can't really tell too much. I put them in the back so you wouldn't notice. Um, so I'm just staining those and I'm using Minwax in the color dark walnut. And I like to just kind of brush it on and brush it off. And then I'm going to clip these so they're straight at the top. Now you could leave them rounded at the bottom if you want, but I prefer them to be straight at the bottom. So I'm going to clip those bottoms also. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to use these and we are going to use them for a roof and glue them on. So I'm just using some hot glue here and I'm just going to glue it right into place. And then I'm going to glue the other side just like that. And they don't fit perfectly up at the top, but we're going to fix that here a little later on. So I'm going to glue this one on and then we're going to go ahead and glue that last one on. So isn't that looking super cute already? Now we have these little plants. I got these little air plants at Lowe's. I need to actually get more air plants because I'm worried the other plants, these little ones that you see here are going to, are going to die in this, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not, I don't know too much about plants. So you guys let me know in the comments. Um, if I need to get more of the other air, are they all air plants? I don't know. Let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and add some Spanish moss up here to cover that. And I am going to snip that up a little bit. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint. I have these little letters. I got the words bloom. And now that I think about it, maybe I should have got the word grow because I don't know that these ones actually bloom, but um, that's what I got. So we're just going to paint them with some black chalk paint. I believe these came from Hobby Lobby and I'm just using a cheap foam brush to paint them. And then I'm going to let them dry and set them aside. Then I'm going to start planting my little plants and I can't remember what was called what. So if you guys know, just throw it in the comments. I just went to Lowe's and saw plants I, I liked for this project and picked them out. So we're just going to kind of play around with them here and see get an idea of where you want everything to be placed before you start gluing everything in and putting your plants in. So I'm going to start on this side and I'm just gluing rocks. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the angle of my camera, but I am just gluing rocks around there. That way my, my clay pot sits in there good, just like that. And then I'm going to come over to the other side and add a little bit of Spanish moss. And then I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to start gluing some rocks in place. So I'm just using some E6000. I tried the hot glue and it fell right out. So you're going to want to use E6000 and it's kind of a little bit of a pain until they dry. Um, so just keep that in mind. You want them to dry good. And you're probably going to hear Buddy bark here in a minute because I just heard the bus pull up. So you might hear Buddy. All right. So then I'm going to give this other plant a little water here because they looked a little dry and I'm going to sit this down in the corner. And again, I'm just kind of fixing things and arranging them where I think they're going to look best. I will hold this up here in a minute for you um, to get a better look at what I'm doing. I know it's kind of hard to see, but when I laid it flat for you to see, everything fell to the back. So again, I'm just gluing some more rocks around here. I put a little bit of Spanish moss in there. I mean, you could really do this up however you want. I even thought it'd be cute to do it for spring and put like little birds nests in. Um, just let your imagination run wild with this one. So you can see how it's looking there. And again, we're just going to go back in with some more Spanish moss and some more rocks and just keep playing around with those plants and the placement of them. And the rocks, I believe these rocks came from Walmart. I want to say these ones came from Walmart. I don't think these are Dollar Tree, but they could be. Um, so either Walmart or Dollar Tree, I think they both would have these rocks. 
So you can see I'm just still kind of just playing around, figuring out. I decided to take that one slot out um, and extend that down on the bottom. And again, I'm adding some more Spanish moss and my E6000 to the rock. Then I had this little seashell. I thought that'd be like a perfect little addition just to add a little extra element to this. So I put my plant right into the, the seashell. And I guess these ones um, don't need to be like planted in the ground because they weren't that way when I got them. So again, I'm adding some more Spanish moss and my other plant up top here. And it's, this is looking so cute. So I had this other clay pot that was like slightly bigger than the others. And I put it in the center up top. Look at that. I just love that. I feel like I just added some, just a little something extra. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my bloom down. And what I want to do is I want to get some more clay pots. I'm probably not done um, playing with this yet, but I, I wanted to at least show you the idea. And again, you guys are going to hear Buddy barking. The, the bus is coming. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just, I added a little seashell there where I didn't have a plant and a couple more rocks. And I put a little bit of E6000 on this clay pot because we're going to actually glue it there in the center. I thought it'd be easier. Um, you probably want to put your plant in first though, but just to stay. And you can see I glued one over in the other side on an angle and I'm going to get a plant for that also. So then I'm going to take these little fairy lights and I'm just going to thread them through the back. I'm going to just thread them through the back and then I just kind of weave them in between and through the little slot doors. Those little slots have a little hole through the side. You can see how I'm pulling that through. And I'm just kind of weaving them in and out, getting it to look the way that I want it to look here. This was so much fun to play around with. This would even be fun for the kids to do with you. Um, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and then that is it, guys. I just hot glued that to the back and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. For more fun DIYs just like this, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.